What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jess. Welcome back for another Madden 25 on the line ranked match. And today, we have the Philadelphia Eagles going up against the Oakland Raiders. Now, tonight, 9 o'clock is, again, game of the year. You definitely want to check it out. It's an unbelievable game. Dropping 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. And what's crazy is that I played a game today that is if not better equal as good as the one i'm uploading tonight we have some games for you guys that i have another game of the year that i'm dropping next weekend so tonight game of the year with the chargers an absolute incredible just jaw dropping ending you definitely don't want to miss it the next week after that is another absolutely incredible jaw-dropping hell of a game can't wait for you guys to see that right here it's so pretty it's so pretty we hit him over the top we end up finding djx uh one-on-one -on -one with sherman even though sherman is a monster definitely doesn't have the speed to keep up with djx on the street so uh no over the top safety help and we go over the top and we end up scoring a touchdown so seven to zero and what i've noticed about my opponent after he scores his touchdown on one play is that he too as well is running the carolina panthers playbook so uh he's one of even though it's a very popular playbook he's actually one of the few that i recognize i'm sure it's been ran on me before and i just didn't realize but he's one of the few that i can identify that he's definitely running carolina playbook so it's like best of carolina going on here whatever you can do i can do better i can do anything better than you and we end up hitting him with our own home run run play right up the middle as mccoy regains us the lead now we are up 14 to 7 and we are feeling great about it so uh, i didn't even do my analyzation of the matchup i definitely give the edge to the raiders as uh, as a better team because their defense is better uh Offensively, you can pick and choose. Both have crazy speed. Both have glitches at running backs. It's a sack right there, and that's absolutely beautiful. I wish you fumbled, though. Oh, wait a minute. It's a fumble. And we end up recovering for a um, for a touchdown right there. So we're up 21 to 7. So like I was saying, man, about the matchups, uh, Eagles are one of the slowest defenses in the game. They have nobody over 90 speed. Their highest person on defense is speed 90. Not a good matchup going up against a team like the Raiders that has speed everywhere. Where their fullback is like a 93 speed. So, I know I'm heavily mismatched on defense. You know, uh, they have speed that just counters my defense ferociously. And not to mention, Darren McFadden is an absolute glitch. Um, like I said, offensively, man, they both have monstrous running backs. They both have QBs that can run very well. They both have receivers that are blazing fast. And, you know, so you can pick and choose who you like better on offense. But defensively, definitely the Raiders because they have tons of speed. You know, neither team really has a stud playmaker, you know, like a J.J. Watt or a Sherman, you know. And did I say we beat Sherman over the top? With, no, what am I talking about? That's not the Seahawks. The, I just finished playing the game against the Seahawks. That's why I had the Seahawks in my mind. Excuse me for that blunder. <laughs> so, 21-14. Uh, to 14, You know, we have ball right here. We try to do a triple option. We end up going to Brown, picking up a couple of yards. So, right here, third and three. We end up going to McCoy on the outside. And we end up picking up the first down. So, both teams, you know, we're both running the ball very well. And that's expected, you know, with two monstrous running backs and possibly the best running playbook in the game, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to uh, find plays that work. So, uh, right here, we end up going to the wheel route. McCoy picks up a huge first down, you know, and allowing us to continue this drive. So, first and 10 right here, um, we end up passing the ball. And again, the wheel route is wide open. And uh, if you continue to leave that open, I will continue to go to it. So, need to make adjustments to cover that. So, second and two right here, we get sacked. He calls a quick blitz, and he hits me with a monstrous sack right there. Third and nine, we're looking, and we go to the skinny. And Macklin drops, of course, right? Of course, Macklin's going to drop the ball. So, fourth and nine right here. I had trying, I mean, uh, triangle, what am I talking about? We go back to the skinny, and uh, we miss it. Not triangle, X. I had X on the out route. I should have went to X, but I see Macklin again. I realized he was playing his man-to-man, -man and I felt like I was going to be able to get that. Look at um, McFadden falling forward. Marshawn Lynch-esque. You know, that's why he's such a glitch, man. Uh, like I said, I had X on that out route. I should have went there, but I went over the middle to Macklin. And it just so happens that he got a super SWAT animation giving him back the ball. So, 
Uh, now we're even on stoppages. I got that one fumble, so he got a turnover on downs. Right here, quick little out route, and he ends up getting the first down. And my opponent definitely knows what he's doing. You know, he knows how to utilize the playbook, and uh, he's definitely a very uh, tough opponent. So uh, hopefully we can just go on ahead and try to continue stopping him on offense, which isn't going to be easy because, again, the Eagles' defense is just ass in this game. I definitely feel like they have tons of firepower on offense, but as far as defense goes, it's a fumble! And we end up recovering that fumble right there. Um, tried to hit me with the heavy panther. So, uh, he, you know, he thought he was slick. He came on Heavy Panther on second down. And, of course, I figured he was going to do the QB Rex. So, I, I ran commit to the right side and we stopped it. He came back in Heavy Panther. And this time, he came on Power O, expecting me to run commit to the right side again. This time, he ran to the left side. And uh, we, you know, stopped that short. I figured that's what he was going to try and do. So, uh, you know, 21 to 14 right here. And hopefully, we can just go on ahead and move the ball and hopefully be able to score. Because, you know, like I said, I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to to stop this man's offense again due to the fact that we all know i struggle on defense as it is but again the eagles really don't have any playmakers man they are truly just a defense i, I just hate playing with so uh you know i got to take advantages of, of these stoppages you know i got to be able to put points on the board and make sure that you know uh i come with points when uh, i'm able to stop them so right here quick little zig route to avant we end up going out of bounds so we're definitely within field goal range you know being able to score a touchdown right here would be huge hopefully we can go on ahead and do that we uh give the ball to mccoy and uh he ends up getting stopped so one thing that my opponent was doing that he continuously keeps doing is he's running the the read option qb i mean uh, the read option buck sweep now he's not running the regular buck sweep he's running read option buck sweep every rip every rip right so uh he's doing that and uh, another drop pass right there we just keep dropping passes it was on his fingertips should have caught it but we do kick the field goal going up multiple possessions right there so the buck sweep qb rap he continues to keep calling and what's frustrating is that i'm always always putting play the running back left trigger square i always option play running back because once i see it's the read option i will manually go around and stop the qb you know if you read option the um the qb you know you have to worry about all those blockers up the middle you know he gets a lot of blocking with the running back so you know to me it's better to go after the running back and manually just go around the edge and stop the the read option and i'm making sure positive every single time i am going option running back but they're not doing it they're playing the quarterback instead which is very very frustrating right here hits me with a quick pass calling out of a uh, single back snugs beautiful just quick pass right here another run play to mcfadden mcfadden absolutely destroyed me this game uh right here he calls a play action and quick little wheel route to mcfadden i see he's definitely utilizing his playmakers you know he he has a very good gist of what to do on, again read option buck sweep and i'm optioning to cover go after the running back yet they're not playing it and, and i was so frustrated that it wasn't working and i couldn't understand it i know exactly what he's doing but stopping that run is not an easy run to stop. The Bucks sweep is by far one of the most OP runs in the game. The blocking is just ridiculous. You always get pancakes. The outside is just monstrous room. And what happens is that, you know, uh, he can, like I said, continue to play the quarterback, allowing the running back to get to the outside. And that's not what I want. So uh, hopefully we can go on ahead and stop that nonsense because it's very frustrating. Second and eight right here. Uh, we want to be able to move the change. Like I said, I know his offense is very good. Uh, right here, we just roll out with Michael Vick. And we get a huge run right here. Michael Vick uh, ends up breaking the tackle right there. And he continues to go to the outside. And that right there was a big run. Picking up a first down, giving us some momentum. So, first and ten right here. He ends up um, calling. Well, not right here. I think I get uh, sacked coming up here soon. Or uh, maybe that's next draw. I know there's definitely a sack that I'm envisioning that's coming soon. Uh, right here, we try to go to the bubble, and we end up going to Macklin. Only gives us a couple yards. So second and eight right here. Uh, hopefully, we can just go ahead and get in the end zone. Try to run a play, but like I said, so much speed on that Raiders defense is really hard to, to break loose. Uh, right here, we try another run play, and we get really close to the first down. Fourth and two. Uh, again, I know I'm not going to be able to stop his offense, so I'm just calling a uh, passing play. So he plays 11-man fag D, but thankfully we end up finding Jackson on the wheel route. Breaks the tackle, gets in the end zone. So next drive must be the sack um, I'm talking about. That was uh, definitely a big play on the drive. So 31-21, to 21, we're still up 10. You know, as long as we continue to score, you know we're good. You know, uh, even though I know I'm going to have a tough time stopping his offense, 
Um, as long as I continue to score, we're still good. Again, buck sweep read option, not going after the running back, man. How many times do I have to hit left trigger uh, start, uh, square? It's not working. Um, right, he goes back to McFadden on the buck sweep, and I don't have any speed to get out there quick enough. You know, I don't want to run commit because the, the Eagles are so slow. And with Moore and Ford and Streeter and also um, Reese, just too much speed, so I can't sacrifice that. And I don't want to bring my safeties down and press because, again, the Eagles are so slow on defense. I, I don't want to get beat over the top. But uh, eventually I have to make a, some type of adjustment because he's just destroying me on this run. I decided to go for a QB wrap right here. And we ended up getting a huge gain with Vic. Uh, wish right there that um, we ended up picking. Look at he's continuing. Look at that. That right there possibly could have been a touchdown. Macklin just refused to give me a block. Right here was that uh, pressure right there he sends on the outside. And uh, he has, um, then I believe he sends another blitz right here that catches me off guard it's a fumble and we thankfully end up recovering right there so third and 30 right here he uh you know calls fag d as you see right here we step up in the pocket and somehow i throw and hit my lineman fourth and 30 i mean i'm not stupid i have no chance but to punt the ball no way i'm gonna be able to go ahead and go on ahead and uh be able to get that first down so Fourth and 30, we punt the ball, and I give the ball back to an offense that I know I'm having difficulty stopping. He's just ramming the ball down my throat, doing an excellent job. Look at McFadden, damn near having a 1,000 yards this game. Back to McFadden, and uh, again, he just has too much speed. He's hitting the outside quicker than my guys can get there, even though I, f I feel like I'm trying to make the adjustments to, to uh, be able to stop him. You know, but he's just too fast. So second and eight right here. He uh, steps up in the pocket and he goes deep and thankfully that right there wasn't caught. So third and eight right here. This right here will be a huge play if we can go on ahead and stop him. Decides to pass the ball one of the few times he did and uh, we break that up. So fourth and eight. This right here is huge. He goes for it and he gets me with a quick little comeback route. And again, I know I made the proper adjustment. I put him on a light blue because I figured he was going to go on ahead and do a comeback or an out route. And the light blue should come down and be able to play that. And they didn't. Just the awareness of the Eagles defense is, is not working with me. You know, uh, again, I struggle on defense. But you give me a defense that's already not good. And you can just really see the outcome of it this game. So, uh, right here, we roll out. He pretty much manually covered the screen. And uh, we just run. Look at Vic shrugging people off him. Look at this run, though. Oh, oh, Michael Vick getting loose. Oh, get off me, Sonny. So strong. Michael, Jeremiah Vick. Get loose. So right here will be big, man. We run the ball again with McFadden, and we end up getting a good gain. So hopefully we can re um, get the score again. You know, sends a quick blitz from that right side, but thankfully we get it off in time to McCoy. And he's starting to send blitzes that get in there very, very quickly with Branch. Again, right side, untouched. He gets in there very quickly. So I don't have too much time to be able to throw this ball. I need to uh, get rid of the ball quickly. Again, sends the same blitz, and I get sacked. So... Uh, definitely have to make adjustment and pick that up. I know where it's coming and when he's doing it. Right here, man to man. I go to the skinny and Macklin drops the ball again. He can't hold on to the ball. 3rd and 14 again. My fault. If you look at X, out route would have been, I mean, triangle would have been butt naked. And right there, I just do a stupid pass. Just out of pure frustration. Whenever things just don't go my way, I just become an even dumber Madden player than I already am. You know, a triangle was wide open on a man-to-man. -man. I read man-to-man, -man, but somehow I just stood frozen in that pocket and uh, end up just throwing it to a, a tight end that was nowhere near open. So uh, we do have all of our timeouts, so we do force them to punt with 25 seconds left. So let's see if we can go on ahead and make magic happen. You know, who knows? Maybe we can make a miracle, but look at that punt, though. On the 10-yard line, I need to go 90 yards in order for me to win this game. So let's see if we can make something happen. Of course, he goes all out fact that he's been doing that, um, you know, dipping and dabbing every now and then. I don't get out of bounds. We have one play left. And, of course, we need a miracle at this point. Uh, right here, he sends all out fag D. And there, there's zero, like, there's no way I can win this game at this point. I'm just hoping, you know what, let's just stand in the pocket long enough. Maybe I'll have a chance where his PlayStation will get tired of spinning his disc 
and he quits. Who knows? Maybe I could stand in this pocket long enough and his sister will come and knock over the internet, the ethernet cord. I mean, you never know. You never know. I mean, anything can happen, right? Maybe out of pure frustration that I've been in the pocket for three days, he'll just quit. <laughs> so right here, I'm really just hoping for an absolute miracle. I'm hoping that somehow I can get somebody to go behind the defense and look at this nonsense. I try to step up in a pocket and I pass the line of scrimmage by mistake. My lineman pushed me right here. Look, push me forward and that's the end of the game a very good game played by my opponent i had my chances just didn't convert man macklin was just dropping passes left and right but nonetheless man good game by my opponent played one hell of a game rained the ball down my throat so that's the end of the game guys don't forget game of the year tonight at nine come to me baby